Yeah, it's really quite a journey, that Typhoon Halong, when it was south of Japan, was the equivalent of a Cat 4 hurricane. But then it quickly de decreased in intensity, became this kind of low-pressure system, got caught up in upper-level lows, and a strong jet stream pushed into southwestern Alaska, and that is what made it, on top of the Bering Sea being very warm. So here's what happened. This region gets that push of water, like a bulldozer pushing at the coast, a record six and a half feet plus of storm surge. So the water starts moving buildings and that's where all that panic came from. Winds were gusting some 50 to 100 miles per hour and guys these communities had been warned for decades about increasing flood risk. Remnants of Typhoon Haylong recently struck western Alaska bringing hurricane force winds and severe flooding. Toksuk Bay saw gusts up to 100 miles per hour while Quigalingok, Kipnuk and Kotlik suffered major destruction. More than 1,500 people were displaced as rescue teams moved evacuees to Anchorage. Several towns remain without power or clean water as recovery efforts continue. Stay safe and follow for more global updates.